Hello and welcome back to the Quinton Group.tv. Yes, uh, my name is Jeff Quinton. I'll be your host. Today we're going to talk about is the market going to crash? Okay, so welcome back. So the question is, hey, what's going on within the market? Is the market going to crash? Where are we, right? So there's a few things happening today that uh, is much different than what had happened, say, back in the 05, 06, 07, 08 era. Um, you know, back then there was a lot of irresponsible lending. The borrowers and buyers that we were dealing with then, you know, ultimately are putting a little bit of money down and the market shifted, obviously, at that point. In percentage, they were upside down. Well, today, a majority of our buyers, in fact, here at the shore, about 60% of our transactions actually are, are paying cash. 60%. It's a, it's a huge amount, right? And then the additional, say, 40% that are getting financing, they're putting 30% down, 40% down, a whole lot. So just to give you a little update as far as what's going on within the market right now is that, you know, is the market as white hot as it was this time last year? It's not. Okay. I think we all understand and see that, but is the market still hot? Well, it is. I mean, you know, are we going back to a market where, you know, it was, was, you know, pre COVID and even by, by the way, pre COVID, the market was really, really strong. Lots of good appreciation, right? Still multiple offers. It's possible we're going there. However, right now, for example, in the last week, we listed about six or seven homes. I know that four of them we had already put under contract within seven days. Now of the four, every one of them got multiple offers. And I'll give you an example of one of them, right? One of the properties we listed on a Thursday, we went live on Friday. We had highest and best offer by Monday at five o'clock. Well, we had about 13 or 14 showings within the first two days, then it cooled off into a Sunday. And then by Monday, we ended up having four offers. Actually, this time last year, we probably would have had 10, but now we had four. The property list price was six ninety nine. It ended up selling well above in the mid sevens. Okay, it went about seven percent or so above the asking price. Which, by the way, we're starting to see that happen five to seven percent above list when listed correctly and properly. Anyway, the point of the story is that this time last year, we might have had ten offers, fifteen offers on it. It might have been might have gone up hundred grand above list. In this case, it went up just a little bit above fifty thousand. So, unbelievable market. Still, let's say four offers versus what it was last year. So the market's still very strong. Now, buyer demand is still here. As you can see, three other buyers didn't get the house. I wish I had three more of them. Inventory is super low. So as long as inventory stays low, buyer demand still says high. There's a two factor, supply and demand. The market's still gonna remain strong. It just may not get as strong as it was. The affordability of buyers is gonna be less because interest rates are rising, okay? So and all I'm saying is that it's a great time to buy. Now, my question is for you buyers. Everyone's concerned, is the market going to crash? Well, let's take a look 10 years ago. Was the market higher or lower 10 years ago, right? It was lower than it is now. 10 years before that, where was it? Well, was it lower or higher? It was lower than it was before the next 10 years, right? Keep going back in history. So if you're looking to buy a home and you're, and you're you know, if, you're, if your theory is to hold it, it doesn't matter if the market goes up or down, right? Now, if you're looking to flip it in two years, then don't buy. But if you're going to be here 10, 15, 20 years and hold the property, it doesn't really matter because history is going to tell you the values will continue to rise. Anyway, if you like more information regarding anything going on in the market, call me or email me direct 609-398-5333 or email us at jeff at Thanks for watching.